Hello there, and welcome to Weird Music. Brace yourselves, we're going to be exploring one of the most notorious albums ever produced by one of the most prolific noise artists of all time. We are of course looking at Pulse Demon by Merzbau. <laughs> So, uh, before we dive into this iconic piece of brutalism, uh, let's first ask ourselves, who is Merzbau? Well, Merzbau is the moniker by Masami Akita uh, that he's used since the late 1970s. And across his incredibly long career, Akita has released over 400 albums. Look, here's the list. This list just goes on and on and on and on, like, my goodness, like, it just keeps on going, it's just such a long list of albums. And yep, there's a numerous, numerous solo releases here, a plethora of collaborations. So much stuff here to look at, so much to dive into, if you try to like explore everything Merzbaz released, brace yourself, you're gonna be in for a long one. So. Yeah, known as the godfather in noise by some people, Akita helped spearhead some of the most chaotic noise movement of the early 80s, you know, pushing out album after album of intense noise. And what you hear from Merzbau is what you get. <laughs> noise, loud, angry, confusing, chaotic, frustrating, baffling noise. Oh god, it just punishes you, this thing. It Like, you dare to listen to it, and it's like, right, well, we're punishing you now. So, regardless, we're, we're looking at what is like, what is arguably one of the most iconic Merzbau albums ever released, which is the 1996 legendary Pulse Demon. This album is just brutal. It's a chaotic 73 minute long noise production that just brutally assaults you with ear-splitting noise that sounds like heavy machinery thrown into an industrial-sized blender, thrown into a black hole, and you know, you get the sound of that and then you just turn the volume up as loud as you possibly can. It's an oral assault on all of your senses, not just your ears, but everything. It just pummels you into submission and it doesn't let go for the entire 73 minute length term. And the whole design of this thing, it's aesthetic from the sound to the artwork, it's all designed to confuse and batter you. From the sonic electronics that explode with ferocity, to the album art artwork, which, just look at it, this is a headache to look at, this, oh my goodness. You know, it, but the, the weird thing is, there's so much purpose, there's so much intent, like, behind this project, and to be fair, it works, but perhaps it works a little too well, maybe. You know, when, literally when I tried to write this script, I was listening to Pulse Demon, obviously, I listened to the album as I write them, and I found myself completely overwhelmed by the chaotic nature of everything that I found impossible to just write anything and put it into words. It's absurd, it's weird, it's unique, and... Yeah, it's a perfect presentation of this peculiar and weird vision that Merzbau has, like... He, there's something... It's weird, it's weird. There's something visionary, truly creative about it. And it... Yeah, I, I guess it's anti-art, anti-music, like, it's... You know, it's, uh, it's not been created to be enjoyed, I don't think, but rather endured, right? It's like the ultimate endurance test in the history of music, maybe. Like, arguably... I don't even know. I don't know. This thing has confused me so much that I don't even know what to say. Like, I can't even dissect this album song by song. Like, we can try talk about it. Like, you've got eight tracks on here. You've got Woodpecker number one and two that open the album up. Spiral Blast. My 
Station Rock. Ultramarine Blues. Tokyo Times 10. The incredibly long Worms Plastic Earthbound, which is just... My goodness, just... Whatever, whatever. And then the finale, Yellow Hyper Balls. And so like, if you're paying close enough attention, you'll hear a noisy variety in the tracks, like there's something different going on in each of them, like it's it's all brutal pummeling noise, but it's different aspects of that, I guess? No, they all have that chaotic, heavy pummeling sound of distortion offset by these high frequencies at random intervals, and it, it's so confusing, and it seems as the album progresses, right, uh, the tracks are just becoming longer and longer, you know, it starts off at like, you know, three minutes, four minutes, and then gets to as long as 20 minutes, and it's like, it's, it's like the album is demanding even more of you, like, it's not just demanding, like, you listen to this, and it's demanding so much of you to listen to this thing. And as you listen to more of it, more of that experience, it finds more and more ways to demand more of you and then punish you for, you know, enduring this thing. It's just, it's relentless and it's, it's heavier than most things you can find, right? But that's the point. I think it's like, it's an album that's been specifically designed um, to be really loud, really heavy, like it's even been mastered to just be ear-splittingly loud, like that's the whole point of this thing, it's just, it's just an experience, like it's, it's unique, it's weird, like, oh, I, I, I don't know, I don't know. So let's listen, listen to the whole thing, right, and what's really compu peculiar about listening to this album is the physical sensations you can actually get from listening to it. And so for me, as I sat down, went through the whole thing from start to finish, I found these physical, physical sensations building up inside me, like it's as though Pulse Demon was reaching inside my stomach and then churning it all around and then just throwing it out basically and just dumping it on the floor, letting it fester and rot. And like, weirdly enough, like at times I was feeling weirdly sick, like literally physically sick from this thing, which is... I, that's, that's so weird, right? Like, why would you want to listen to something that makes you feel that way? Like, maybe not everyone feels this way about it, but like, for me, there was definitely times where I was just like, is something literally happening here? I don't know. And, yeah, that's so weird, right, I think. To be honest, I don't know if that's due to the recent heatwave we've had over here in the UK. I mean, it's going to be weeks till this episode's released, but as filming of now, we had like one of the worst heatwaves ever. So maybe that's why I'm just feeling sick, but maybe it is the album, I don't know. Maybe it's all contributing together, like, to be honest, yeah, I think that's the reason why I decided to look at Merz Bows, like, I feel bad enough anyway, let's just dive into something horrible, you know. It's all a mystery. Um, but the main thing is, uh, I'm mentioning it because I think there's something kind of funny about it, you know. <laughs> like, an album that makes, that has made me feel a bit sick after listening to it. That's funny, right? Surely? And so with that, I think that is a perfect segue right into the next section of this video. The reaction that Pulse Demon has garnered over the internet, its legendary status as the ultimate noise album, and the abundance of memes and videos and comments that have come out about this thing. Like, this album is chaotic and weird, but it's also kind of funny, you know? <laughs> it's weird and people certainly get a laugh out of this thing. And so the following is the pre is some of my favourite memes I found about Pulse Demon and Merzbau and we're going to listen to some Merzbau while looking at these so proceed with caution here. <laughs>
and of course, like I can't just mention the memes and not mention one of my favorite th favorite things to do with Merzbau, which is this video. It is of course the man who's at, at a Merzbau concert is brushing his teeth. <laughs> what a world we live in. <laughs> it's just, so like, you know, there's something delightful about the impact this album has had upon people. There's those who enjoy it ironically, those who probably enjoy it unironically. And regardless of what you think about this album, there's no doubt that it is a truly unique experience to behold. Like, this album grabs you by the throat, it assaults you orally, and it throws you back to the ground after 73 minutes of brutal noise. But it's after all of that, that, you know, after the chaos, the noise, the battering, the bruising, we get to what I like to call the Merzbau effect. And that's when a Merzbau album ends. <laughs> You, all you hear is the most beautiful sounding silence you have ever heard. Like, there's truly nothing like the experience you get from finishing a Merzbau album. And for me personally, it's the most appealing thing about listening to Merzbau's music. And it's, it sort of like makes the music this sonic cleanser for your ears. Like, it dives in there, it literally just washes everything out of your ears and just... Afterwards, everything else just sounds so much better. You just have this weird, you just can find this weird calm and just like this weird beauty in whatever you decide to listen to after that. You know, it's a, it's a pe very peculiar thing to describe, but I'm, I'm relatively certain that there's fans of Merzbo out there who know exactly what I'm talking about. Like, it's the perfect calm after a deadly terrifying storm. And so... With that, I think we're going to conclude today's episode of Weird Music. To be honest, even I don't know what I think about this album. It's unique, it's different, it's loud as fuck, and it's completely inaccessible in every aspect. And that's perhaps what makes it all so interesting, you know? If you want to experience this album for yourself, go ahead. It's available on YouTube, it's available on Bandcamp in both its original version and a it's also a remastered version, which has a bonus track, so you can listen to a longer version of Pulse Demon. Like, if you're even more daring, you can buy the thing on vinyl, and then, you know, listen to it on a vinyl player, and probably blow your speakers out, and then damage it in ways it can never be repaired again. I, I don't know, I don't know. Dude, like, this album's weird. Do what you want with it, basically. Oh, I think, yeah, with that, we're going to conclude today's episode. Like, I don't have anything else to say. I'm gonna go listen to something calm and gentle like Stars of the Lid or something because I need it after listening to Pulse Demon. I hope you've enjoyed today's episode though. I wish you all the best. Take care and bye bye for now. Bye bye.